Hey, it's the Chief Bonnie with Board Games, and we're going to unbox Command and Colors Samurai Battles, baby. Lots of blocks and stickers. All right, we're over Command and Colors Samurai Battles. I didn't turn on my audio, and I took off the shrink. But you didn't miss much because I caught it pretty quick. Let's take a look at this box real quick. Love the color scheme. This is gorgeous. The black with the red borders coming into the tan, back to the black using the gold lettering samurai sword, the katana, the soldier on the front, exciting medieval Japanese or medieval Japan battlefield game. 40 battle scenarios. We turn to the side, bringing that right over through with it. Beautiful mask. Nice GMT logo. On to the back telling you everything you need to know. You're in command. You can see that it's block game. We got our command cards and we've got our information on one hour games and two players. So let's pop this up here. Beautiful. So GMT does CNC with blocks. So there'll be gorgeous stickers to put on here. It'll take some time, but it's well worth it. And you can see we've got two factions, primarily blue and red. So we can see our little squares here. We'll go into what looks like our bigger squares here. Rectangles, kind of elongated, and some black ones as well. And some bigger kind of rectangles. So the cards, I'll unshrink these in a bit, but these are gorgeous. This white almost has like a stone texture look to it. Beautiful red pops off and then the same black here. Again, we'll get these cards off. Very interesting, or the shrink off. All right, let me square that up a little bit. Um, so our dice, a lot of folks are understand that you're rolling your dice. The circles and the blue triangles and the red squares. Uh, denote hits of light, medium, and heavy armor usually. I haven't read the rules yet. We got some cross swords, some Japanese characters. These, these dice are like a bake light material with a little bit of gloss on them. I think that's coming through. These look gorgeous. All right, the rule book carries on from the cover, but foregoing the black. Very nice. Let's just thumb through a couple pages. So non-glossy paper. You can see we've got color on the inside here. So let's take a look. Nice, we can see our types of units. The army rosters, wow, very nicely laid out, these little cells. Okay, wow, nice little tiles, interesting. I'm gonna just flip through, setting up the game, grab a few more pages, special actions, terrain, how many total pages, Oh, what do we got? Maybe some scenarios on the back there. I don't see a number count on the pages. Oh, there we go. 27 up in the corner. 31. How was I missing it? So 32 counting the back. 32. Our scenario book. Let's see. Perfect. So it's laying out your starting setup. You can see where your terrain's going. The blue side, where they're placing their troops, the red. Then you'll have some more detail in the notes. And these scenarios, I believe it said there's 40. So you can just see here we've got a river running through. Very nice. Very, very nice. Again, full color, not glossy, easy to read, great feel on the paper. Some charts. So these will be the stickers that will be going onto the blocks. I'll just move through these, but we'll flip through. That's interesting. So I've got the flip side of them there, making it easier so you don't confuse. Cool. All right, we'll just kind of flip through these. Here's our reds. All right, one of our reference cards. There should be another, yep, right there. Great reference cards. Okay, some tokens. 
How easy to punch out. Perfect. Some terrain tiles, you can see thickness. There's our river. All right, let's go for these next ones. Oh, like a little rice field maybe. And again, let's see, hanging up just a tad, but you can see they're gonna come out no problem. Perfect. There's some hills. Oh, little fortifications, maybe a base camp. And our map board. Let's look at the cards, then I'll clear this stuff out of here, and we'll look at the board. The board's going to be pretty plain Jane because it's just your three zones, but we'll look at it. All right, let's move this box. Let me get these out of their shrink. All right, we'll move these cards in. Clean up our field a little bit. We won't look at all, but heck, let's just flip these around. We'll splay out a little bit. Tiger tail right. Huh. So your order cards. So for those that don't know, the order cards will tell you you can move one unit on the left flank or order units with a certain symbol, in this case, the heavy symbol. All right, the dragon, the dragon cards. So I don't know if you have to buy these, I would assume. Ooh, Ninja Assassin, Brave Leader, Tactical Wisdom, Physician, Ambush, Wise advisor, fire arrows, cool. Oh, cowards. Play that on your opponent. Personal challenge, ninja thief, red dragon, rice famine. Huh. Very cool. All right. Woo. CNC samurai. So let's get these out of the way. Take a look at this board so you can at least see it. We're gonna need a little room. All right, GMT likes to put them in a bag. Very nice. Safe and protected. And let's get her out of there. All right, let's see. Kinda has like a, uh, I don't see it. I thought it felt a little bit like a linen finish, but I don't really see. I'll have to look at it later. Feels real solid. All right, let's get it open. So I will pan and come back. All right, now you will just see. So we've got our title here, but you'll just see we've got our field of battle swinging all the way around and our lines right here and right here. Left, center, and right. So, nice, good side board art.